Und ich sage Hallo und ein ganz, ganz herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Part The Wolf Among Us. Wir sind gerade im Verhör mit dem Crockett Man. Machen hier jetzt auch gerade sofort weiter, damit er antworten kann. First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you didn't. Stop the charade. We know ja, lass ihn mal ausreden. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on with it then. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit. Always been a bit of a. Ja, Georgie hat was anderes Georgie gesagt, ne? Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Ah, das war eine Falle. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Ich glaube nicht, dass die dich ja, right. ähm, schützen wollten, ne? They want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. Yeah. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Yeah. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor. No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? 
You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Ja, versuch nicht uns zu manipulieren hier, ey. It's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just means... This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always ja, have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't schützen, noticed, ne? but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Er hat sich nie um euch so wirklich gekümmert, ne? Exactly his way. Someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your yeah. money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Tja. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. <sighs> what are you talking about? Ah... Uh, so? Ja, was ist denn mit deiner yours? Geschichte? All you've done yeah. to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him... Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Ach, halt einfach die Fresse, ey. Just shut the fuck up already! It's okay. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? Uh, you yeah, can't Snow be damit nix zu tun, Snow eh? had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I know... Oh, halt doch mal einfach alle die Fresse, ey. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to who? This is how it's always yes. been. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since... Which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, 
Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Oh, Gott, ich nehme mir den gleich um kalt, Claudia. Baby, oh. Miss White. Ja. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you yeah. take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of yeah, something. Yeah, then read on. Of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Sehr How are you? I found Vivian's body. Ah, okay. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Um, Vivian hat Be sich selber umgebracht. Ah, uh, sie wollte euch alle befreien. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The Und only two people time. who ever gave a damn about me! Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. <laughs> She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. Ach, halt so quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. Na, was willst du sonst mit dem machen? Him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. Yeah. How can we be sure he won't escape? Yeah. I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. Maybe there will she be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. It's too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you Snow all suggest to entscheiden. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's going to be the deputy mayor, But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Oh, okay. no. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Oh, God. What do I decide? Yes, Sheriff. Um, do what you think up is right. In dem, Teach him a fucking in lesson. Witching well. Everyone, I'm... Not this way. Ah. Oh. Oh god, oh nein. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. Ja, rein mit ihm. Ja, los hier, rein. No, I won't. Warum nicht? Okay. <lacht> Sehr gut. For Lily and Faith. Yes. 
Another one of us to erase from the books. Yeah. Yeah. Ja. <lacht> okay. Um, the Woodland Luxury Luxury Apartments one day later. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, stehen sie wieder an. Tja. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Um, can we read? Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Ja. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Weapon Map. Ach so, unser Zuhause. Sind wir jetzt hier? Ja. Ach, guck mal. Da geht jetzt los. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. Ja, aber wir werden hier dann tatsächlich das nächste Mal weitermachen. Ich denke zwar, dass es nicht mehr viel sein wird, aber ähm, dennoch mache ich jetzt hier einen Break, weil ich das ja immer nicht abschätzen kann. Ich danke jetzt wie immer sehr fürs Zuschauen und ich wette, im nächsten Part ähm, beenden wir diese Episode. Und ich sage bis dahin, ciao, ciao.